Hello everybody, welcome back to Open Universe Alice 4 where we're playing as Byzantium. As you can see, we are at war with Persia. Why? We want this one territory that no one wants to give us. Why do we want it? Well, it's in the Masquerit region. And we need to own all this, all of Anatolia, all the Balkans, all of Italy, all France, all Iberia, and several territories across the world, unfortunately. And then we can form Rome. I don't know if we're going to do it. We only have and, uh, 150 years left to go. And we're running really low on time. Honest to goodness truth, we are running really low on time. Um, you should not be here, though, because you're taking attrition. So get out of here. Uh, recall you. You move your troops out. You move your troops there. These three could probably do it. No, guy seeds a bunch of territory. Persian seeds two territories. Okay. Well, you didn't have to do this, man. I did not really want to fight you. Russia, I enjoy you. You're a fun guy to have around. Unfortunately, you hate my guts. And you took religious and defensive. Luckily, we're the same religion, though, so that should go a little bit of the way along. If we get a little bit stronger, you might be willing to give us some stuff, huh? And the wars over here are still going on. Wow! It's multicolored. I'm fine with that. Russia could become the ruler of all of China, India, and everything else, which is fine. Bahmanis, I would love to be your ally. Like, you are so big, Bahmanis. Actually, who is Bahmanis allied to over here? No one, and they got 81,000 troops. And that's pretty good. Portugal's over here, though. Hello, Portugal. I have lost a battle. I was not paying attention. Yeah, I was not paying attention to that. Whoops. Great, that's going to hurt. Okay. We wanted to do this the peaceful way. You didn't want to follow us. So, over here, please. We won the siege, though. Good, considering that's the only land we actually want to get. <coughs> How you doing? I mean, you're running away. I understand that. I understand you took major, major damage. I just want that. Give me 10 Warscore, please. Unfortunately, you're basically looking at me and saying, yeah, it's not worth 10 Warscore. Or in the meantime, I'm trying to look at you and be like, yes, it really is, although you really could care less. Hey, Rock. You're not friendly. It's considered my... No, it's not. Damn it. is not going to be considered good for me no matter what. Please reinforce. Please. Truce with Tuscany has just ended. Come on. We won somehow. I just want one territory. Come on. This is not worth this war. Figure that out. Um, hey. France would not join. I need to declare this war, like, now. But I have no troops anywhere, and I have no manpower again. <sighs> of course. Hey, nobility. Do not grant me troops for how many more years? Ten? Wow, that's a lot of years. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need to end this war before I can do anything against them. Again, it might be worth going ahead and piecing out, um, or attacking Tunis instead, Tuscany instead, and then attacking Hungary via them. Makes sense, at least. I just want this one territory, guys. Like, this should not be worth this war. Like, this war should be over already. But no. One province apparently is not enough. Not when you're talking war score, at least. Unfortunately, it's, like, not even that big of a province. Like, I think the entire war score is 11 points because of how big the province itself is. And you don't even want to be allies, which is annoying. Like, you're my vassal, and you've been my vassal. Ever since I converted your religion, though, you do not like me. I just converted you to the one true faith. 
Trade protection against Bothmonith and them? Okay. Sure, whatever. Come on, guys. We need to be able to declare war in a couple months so that way Spain doesn't want to join a coalition against us because that would be really bad. Actually, Spain is not that pissed off at us, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> join a coalition against me, Spain, I dare you. Are you actually doing something? No, you're just getting close to our borders. Okay, I guess that's something, though. Yeah, they're taking our provinces away. Syrian separatists, Moroccan separatists, Mamelukian separatists, all these are fine. Hormones just declared war in Yemen. Also fine with me. I don't really care for hormones. They just gotta understand that. Like, I don't want to see them dead or anything. I just don't want to fight them. Um, should we get a military idea? I mean, it would be half of our things now. But quantity is always a good one. More discipline means we'd have 125 discipline at base right now, which is just gonna be ridiculous for killing people. I'm gonna move y'all in a little bit. I need to battle these guys if we're gonna show superiority ever. But I also don't want to have these guys over here. I want to take this fort, but it doesn't want to fall. All right, you three. It should be enough if I pick good provinces for us to fight in. So move in. We're not to win very many battles to show superiority. It's just a little bit, and that'll give us all the war score we need. Theoretically. It's one province. They just don't want to give it to us because they're stupid. This is mountains, by the way. You're moving to Amida? Yes, and you're there to stay. I'd rather attack there than anywhere else. Um, can I get you... You have a leader. Unfortunately, this will be considered a river crossing, apparently. Yes. Can I get you with that higher level maneuver guy? This guy. No, he's already assigned. This guy, then. Shoot. Poland just gave up a bunch of territory, didn't they? I don't think they gave up actually anything. I think they released. Oh, maybe they did give up two, and they gave up a bunch of cores after that. Let's go. This province probably doesn't need to fall. We just need to win another battle, but... Unfortunately for me, that does not appear to be the case. You should move this way. Also take this leader. Also force march. This way. You should probably just get off that territory for now. And you should just regular march over here. A new flagship. Uh, get a frigate. Also I need to protect trade in um, Genoa. Genoa, go. Damn it, I wish I wasn't friggin' moving there. You're moving there. Let's try and catch y'all. This is not the time to be fighting you, I know, but I don't really have the choice. It's because these bastards won't peace out. That's literally it. This is woods, which is annoying, but it's workable territory at the very least. Start off such high morale. And their leader, I guess shock points is like super high too. Highlands? That's annoying. you peace out? Maybe if we weren't in a battle? I don't know for sure, though. I just want one territory. Just give me the one territory. Jesus. A 
Maybe if I undo some of these, they won't want to fight anymore. Yep, truce with Spain has just ended. That's annoying. Especially if Spain allies Hungary. Like, I want to declare this war as soon as possible. France will not join. Also, I fully understand we got two more years before this is over, but we got time. We have so much manpower to recover. This is so painful every time we do this. Sharing faults. That's fine. Your legitimacy going up doesn't hurt too much. Humiliate Spain. Would like to do that. You. France will not defend you. This is the time. France is going heavily into debt. What the hell, France? I see the Poland will defend you. I don't really care. Um, honestly. I just want this one province. There we go. Thank you. Peace out. I'm not even going to court because that's how little I care. Okay, you... Guess what? I know you hate me, and I know this is really not going to help you anyway, but I'm going to play at your rulers, first of all. Second of all, I'm going to grant you this province. I know you're not going to like that. But honestly, I don't care. So just accept that province, and you'll deal with it. More importantly, that's all the provinces! Yay! Also gives you a state. Another one, so... Alright, if you're force marching, which I think one of you is, um, you don't, first of all. Second of all, oh shoot. Everyone, to the Hungarian border. Times of war are upon us. I mean, they are, but move there, please. Because this is a fort, isn't it? It's a fully maintained one. This is also fully maintained. This is also fully maintained. Okay. Well, we need at least an army or two here so I can stack wipe that. So let's take this 37k. And instead of heading there, you're going to head to Rome. Go. You're going to wait for the boat to come around. That's perfectly fine. You're going to get manpower. That's also perfectly fine. Persia no longer considers me a rival. Well, good news, Persia. Is it because you're too weak? No, you just don't hate me anymore. Okay. Pleasing to see. Thank you for the manpower. We really did need that at that time. That's like the perfect time for that event to happen. Yeah, we got a core done. And yeah, we can convert people. We have not been doing so. We're a little bit ahead, but it's okay. This has been a good episode. Or a good recording session, at least. We can tack up. Hey, guess what? Military. Oh, hey. We gotta worry about the clergy, don't we? Eh, 40 more months. A couple more years. A little bit of time. Uh, should probably shift consolidate everyone, though. Everyone that has at least manpower to shift consolidate, too. We'll drop you off. We'll get some of the better guys as well. Manpower has already been distributed across, which is rather nice. We're recovering 20 regiments a month. If we can continue to do so, that's really good. Speed of the recovery. I don't know if that actually does help. I think it does. Okay, shift consolidate. Let's shift consolidate everyone. That can be shift consolidated, that is. The less uh, manpower going into every regiment, the better. We're getting points. It's fine. We did lose a general. We're so far ahead, we'll get another general. Don't worry about it. And if we had manpower, now would be the time to build another legion. But we don't, so we won't. That's a good leader. Got some cores done. Where? Petra Megal. Okay. That's an interesting name. Not sure why that one got converted and everything around it. Only Slamma got converted, but sure. Could have converted... Oh, I can still convert Damascus because... Guess, oh, actually, we can convert everything now. We have five. Wow, that's going to be quick conversions. Um, let's wait for manpower to come back a little bit more. At least for this 18 stack. Although I guess we don't really need to worry. We could declare this war. Um, Denmark would join this war. Hungry, how many troops do you have, Hungry? 
Hungary has 32,000. Yeah, it's time to declare. Denmark joined me in this war. I don't really care. France is a defender of the faith, but will not join them because they don't have money. And move in. You will come out of port. You will move. You will move. You also move. And you will play support. So, yeah, I know the one with the least amount of freaking points, right? Caught the Hungarian fleet, though. That's very nice. Go. And we could have declared war, or threatened Savoy, and maybe we will again. But for now, we're fine. Um, and I see you. I don't know what your plan is, but I see you. That's your entire army. You're running backwards. That's good. By running backwards, I mean you're retreating. Oh, we got two lights. Okay, go to Rome. Let's take off the frigates. No, well, go to Rome, actually. Let's take off the frigates. We cannot upgrade you, which is good. We're going to bring you guys in. And you all should go and attack if you're going to do anything. And if we can take this fort, great. If not, well, we won't worry too much about it. And then you all should combine. You should protect trade in the Genoa node. However, you will also always do repair and you will upgrade our 27 ships because apparently we have 27. Uh, and you will not do that. You will join the other fleet, the 77. Combine and you cannot upgrade, so that's fine. Okay. However, y'all should surely be out in port and giving some siege value. Tirana has been converted. Very nice. Hello, Poland. I see your army. Um, don't. Wait until they... Okay, now that they're locked, go. There's Highlands. It's annoying, but... You would think since I'm defending Highlands, in my own Highlands, that, that, that I would actually have a bonus, right? But no, I don't. What's even more annoying is I took a river crossing to do this. Thankfully, though, it looks like we are going to win this battle, which is very nice. Although, officially, I already won this battle, but whatever. Come on. Okay, good. Ugh, I was going to say, please let them be locked. You're going to Temis. Temis is hills. I mean, chances are you're not going to have very many troops. There? Okay. Good. You are retreating, but I did repair, so that's good news. Uh, we'll go through and convert everyone. I think there's only like one more province to convert. Yeah. Because Fez still can't convert. And then you all will basically, I think, be gone, but we'll double check that. Won the Siege of Siena. Okay, move forward. Tabereso. We're probably not going to piece you out, as funny as that sounds. Why? Well, we want to take as much as we can, which means that we want to take something like this. And we want to take... Oh, we can't take that. If we take this, we can't take that. So let's not take this. This is something we do want to take, though. It's so much. Holy hell. Um, Don't take ores. <laughs> it's still so much. Ah, damn it. We would need to attack them. And that's the bad news. But we need this. And that's the worst news, because we need to take these territories. Like, it's not even, like, a question of should we, shouldn't we? No, we need them. I see you. I can't... Well, I could reach you if I move you off. Like, maybe we shouldn't take all of this. Like, maybe we should just take this. Keep the coalition a little bit weak. I guess we should take grain, of course, if we're going to take anything, right? But... I can't reach there? Really? You. I'm going to ask for military access. Go. We're defending a fort. It's hills. We should get the defensive bonus. Don't know if we actually will, but we should. Tuscany man, just peace out. Parma is hills as well. 
but that's pretty painful. Yo, they're coming. They are trying to reinforce. Okay. We run out of here? Not easily, but we will be able to. Which is hilarious. Um, taking this, though, will hurt them. Sets us up nicely for where we need to go in the future. Also, what's really costing us is just the fact that we don't have any fort enough forts yet over here. Um, Damascus is under our control. Very nice. Um, we have cores to make, but we also want to tech up relatively soon, too. We have holy war against Morocco. Hello, Morocco. You managed to reclaim some territory, huh? I wish you weren't allied to France. But I guess if they won't join, they will because it's a defensive war. Damn you. you were so If you were more in debt, that'd be great. Fortunately, you're not, but... Um, we don't want to be here. <laughs> I see that 50 stack coming my way, and I don't like it. We really don't want to be there. I'll let them siege out whatever the hell they want. Oh, shoot. My capital fort. Or my fort in Rome. That's annoying. And maybe I don't have to retreat, but I still don't want to be there. Supply shortage is good. I could probably release Tuscany. Unfortunately, that's going to take away a lot of war score, isn't it? Um, yeah, Sienna's 10 war score by itself, so I don't want to lose that. Like, the whole bad news is I don't have a fort here yet. That's really the bad news of this. I think otherwise we'd be in pretty good shape. In fact, I'm willing to throw another army, another two armies on top of this for now. Try and get some more cannons for doing some work. We don't have enough yet to actually give us bonuses, so. I would retreat from there, but. Let's move. I don't want to attack Castile yet, because we're so low on manpower. But it might not be. It might just have to be a thing I do. Thankfully, as I'm waiting for this war to go on, the people should want to drop out pretty soon. I could attack the Pope. I mean, it makes sense. Maybe we don't take everything this war. Like, do we just take this? Maybe? Keeps the Pope from joining. This 10 prestige. And we could take these two. But again, then we're falling into the same issue, right? However, doing that gives us a border with uh, these guys and helps push them out of Italy. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, let's do this. Also gives us more Nostrum a little bit closer. We're third in the world in power projections right now. Rather nice to see. I will throw your cannons in. It's a lot of attrition to be taking there, I know, but... Okay, that's fallen. How much war score is this? This is too much. This is still too much? Yo, you want to get away with so little. Two provinces? Are you kidding me? I think that is more reasonable, but whatever. Let's work on moving you guys in, I guess. I mean, do I piece out of this war to get into another war soon? I think so. I think keeping these guys a little bit peaceful, taking two provinces right now makes sense. And here's the reason why. It gets rid of a fort. Which goes a long way to controlling these guys. It also gets rid of a bunch of points for them. Also gets rid of their navy, which is very useful. Um, one of you can come through here. No, yeah, do it anyway. Um, the other one can move here. Or move back here, and then you can move here to Dalmatia. 
So why do this this way? Well, I want to annex you, and this is the easiest way to do it. So, Also, it gives us a little bit more manpower. Get over here. Get off of our damn land. I doubt you will, but get off of it. Um, we can convert. Let's convert one, we'll core the other, I guess. I mean, Lika converting is not too big of an issue, right? But We'll keep an eye out, because we do want to make a little bit of points. We got so much money, but we don't have enough to tech up yet, huh? We're making progress, don't get me wrong, but... Like, the provinces that are getting it are really close, but they're not there yet. Like, attacking Spain makes sense here. It really does, because you have no allies right now. And France and Denmark joins me? That makes so much sense. Okay. We have to tech up. We can't. Can we wait a year? I don't know. I don't think we can. We're so close. Tech up. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, don't tech up there, though, because we got time. Um, we will tech up, obviously. Um, what did we get? We got better cavalry. We're going to get winged hussiers. Yeah. And then we're going to get cohorn mortars. Also very good. Our army is repairing itself, which is good. Recover Tunis. Own Kef. Why? Tunis wants the great sight of our great... Wants the sight of our great enemies. Tunis! Once the site of the great enemies of the Romans, Carthage, represents our westernmost ambitions in Africa. I would love to incorporate this. Build a textile factory in Aleppo? That seems good. I know what you're saying. This is going to take years. Why not do the other one? Well, that would be smart. Um, Aleppo. So why do this? Eh, 50 points plus you're going to go pretty quick after that? Makes sense. Um, unfortunately, though, we are out of time almost. Two more minutes at this rate. So we're not going to get to do this, but, you know, we did take two provinces that have it at the very least, so that's good. Um, we are weakening one of our rivals and keeping our projections high. Um, you, we should threaten war for. Albagania, that seems fine. And now we should work on annexing you immediately. Costs us one point a month. Really? Come back from there. How long are you going to take? How many years? Wow. Is our re Diplo rep that bad? Ah, because we're being sabotaged reputation. Okay, makes sense. Not actually that bad, just people don't like me. Mamelukian separatists are in a bunch of provinces. They might go away before they revolt, but I highly doubt it. Actually, they should go away before they revolt, but we will see if that's actually the case. Um, Looney Disaster, the clergy are really upset with us because guess what? I went ahead and did this. Let's take away this province. I was an idiot to give them that, but it's fine. Um, they're going to be upset. I can always give them money, at least to keep them a little bit happier. I know you want provinces. I don't care. Um, you're going away in nine years, so if I can drop you under... 10% right now, roughly. That's very good, but obviously it's not going to go under 10%. Um, it's going to go down one a month, so in four years we can give him back the land. We'll see how that works. Uh, manpower is coming back. I would like to declare war on the Pope, which we could probably do right now. Do um, you have any allies left? You do. This will be a full annexation, unfortunately. So piecing out these guys might take a while. And Ferrara has gotten way bigger as Alsace has not, but Ferrara has. I mean, or we attack Spain, right? That's always a thing. They got 66,000 troops all in one stack? Yeah, that makes sense. Spain, how much troops do you have? You have 83. That's your whole army, or half, the majority of your army, all in one stack. Okay. Sure. Um... I guess we attack the Pope. I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, Denmark will join if I ask them to. I don't really need them to, I think. I, on the other hand, they have 50,000 plus their two vassals. Sure, you know what, Pope? 
Or Denmark, come join me. We should have a lot of favors with you, right? Yeah, a lot. Okay. Yeah, come help me out. But that'll be it for this episode. Next episode. Well, first of all, we're going to have a naval battle. Second of all, stack white, please. Um, third, we should probably be getting more troops across, but it's fine. That was an easy battle. We even got two ships out of it. Y'all to Rome? You want to go to Rome? These ships have just been sitting here for a while, but I don't really have a need for heavies, so that's good. Thank you very much for watching, though. I will see you next time. Goodbye from Byzantium.